Hello everyone, Fertility Journals here. I know that this is a long awaited video. Thank you so much for watching if you're new. Just to tell you a little bit about me, I underwent 12 IVF cycles and I went through embryo banking, which is a process whereby you try to maximize your youth by focusing on first retrieving the right healthy egg, forming embryos, freezing them, and then transferring them later. And the type of IVF that I used was mini IVF and conventional IVF, and also natural cycle IVF. I am blessed with a wonderful baby boy. He is amazing, the joy of our life. So thank you so much for joining and for watching. Today, I'm gonna delve into this delicate conversation. I keep getting questions every now and then, and sometimes if I feel it's an important question, I'll hop on and I'll do a video about it. And so I'm gonna talk about finances and IVF, and hopefully you walk away today knowing exactly what the options are, and you can also, because I know, you want your babies and, and money. Yes, I get it, I, I went through it myself. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first option I will talk about when it comes to the IVF journey is obviously, you guys know about this, is if you have a credit card. Be ready, you're gonna be swiping that thing as you go through your treatment. But I will say this, you do wanna have the budget. So when you go to your doctor's office, what they'll do is they'll be gracious enough to have you meet with a financial planner. And that financial planner will kind of go through, you know, what the basics are which is if you have insurance or not, whether or not it covers it, and if it does cover it, what that means in terms of what you have to come up with, and if it does not cover it, what it means and what you need to come up with. That worksheet is absolutely critical and key for you because that's what you're gonna use for your planning. And like most of you, myself and I, my hubby and I, that was the first option was to see what we could um, be able to use and you know charge to our credit cards. Second option that you have when it comes to your financial options for IVF is that you can take a personal loan. And actually we did that. So we did a combination of everything I'm gonna to talk to you about today. So taking a personal loan. And so again, what you wanna do though, because remember when you take the loan, you will be paying for it over an extended period of time. And so you do wanna have that budget. You wanna have everything ready. And so what we did was we made sure that after we consulted with our doctor, we had committed to a certain number of IVF cycles based on the data for our clinic. And so whatever the case might be as you work with the doctor, whether it's one cycle, two cycles, you want to get that underway because once you take that loan out, remember, you're gonna be paying it back slowly and so you wanna be purposeful when it comes to identifying that as a financial option. Third resource I wanted to share with you now, I actually got this from my IVF therapy group. And so uh, some women had uh, this benefit. There are communities that really support women going through IVF. And the example I had in my community, for example, the Jewish women had a some type of like agreement with the local area hospitals where I lived, where they would get a certain percentage off. So you wanna make sure that um, either you are part of these communities if you are able to, or what are communities in the area so that you can see if you can be able to join these communities and be able to get a certain percentage off when it comes to your medications or the services that you get. Every little bit counts. And so make sure that as you're undergoing IVF, you know, when you're kind of working with your doctors, find out the support groups in your community and then find out if there is funding to support you through this most challenging but exciting time in your life. The fourth option when it comes to planning for your IVF finances is that if you are in a career path, like Hubby and I were, then you probably have a retirement. So what happens is, there is an option within your retirement where you could withdraw for hardship. So you take a loan against what you have in retirement. Now, we were able to benefit, my hubby and I, from this option because we have been working for many, many years. And actually, for me as an immigrant, there was a time in my life when I would put so much towards retirement, I'd put a little bit over an extra and maxed out what I could. And so it ended up allowing us to be able to take you know, a loan against the retirement, each of us to be able to do that. And then that added with the credit cards, 
that I did with the personal loan and any community um, you know discounts we would get just by being a part of um, community related uh, groups that uh, were related to infertility that combination also contributed towards that financial um, support that we needed through IVF. The other option I will talk about, which is an option that I know many folks have pursued, is to literally cash out of the retirement. Now, the, the downside of that, obviously, is that you're taking from your retirement, um, you know, as opposed to taking a loan against what you have in there. And that is an option that is available for folks, particularly if I know for some individuals that I was in my therapy group with, they had probably worked in multiple places. And so, and the benefit of that, I must admit, is if you take it out of your retirement, even though it's taking out of your retirement, you don't have to pay anything monthly. And so um, it, it, it really is like a one-stop shop, particularly if you have you know IVF one time and you just wanna make sure that everything is paid, then that is an option you can definitely look into. Now, granted, you are taking out of your retirement, which is not a good idea. But again, you're going to have a child who's probably going to take care of you in that nursing home. So <laughs> listen, hey, I'm here to give you the resources. You make your decision. But that's how I see it. If Listen, we want these babies. Okay. So if, if having money in the bank is, is preventing you from having your baby, you go get that baby. Get that money out because that baby will be able to take care of you. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> well, that's the other financial option. The final option I will talk about when it comes to uh, really looking at finances for IVF is the partial withdrawal of your retirement. So you don't take all of it out, but you take a part of it out. I believe this only works when individuals who have worked multiple jobs and actually left the money didn't roll over, for example. This is something that you could explore. So take a little bit out um, as you are navigating your uh, fertility treatment to be able to navigate the process. And so folks, there you have it. That is the complete picture of everything that you can do to be able to finance your IVF. Now, obviously, we haven't talked about all the other methods that you could use. You, know, you could drive Uber or Lyft. You could take a part-time job teaching, like Hubby was able to take a part-time job uh, to teach um, or something contractual. And so all these things you can do to be able to fund this most exciting and hope Filled journey of your life but I hope that that gives you a snippet into what us who are pursuing IVF tend to do <laughs> to get these babies but I understand because why this question keeps coming up because it is a very expensive process and so you might be curious about how you can navigate opportunities so that you can be successful in terms of financing this treatment Thank you so much for watching. And remember folks, in the information bar below, I have all the links for all the supplements I took, all the resources that helped me navigate my journey. So if you are interested, please go ahead and take a look at the link in the information bar below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until my next video, bye.